Janine, let's go back a few years to some titles you've held. Uh, Little Miss Arlington, yes. Little Miss uh, Texas. Yes, Little no. Miss Eunice, don't forget that one. <laughs> no, what, do you, what do you remember of your, uh, your child beauty pageant days? Well, my, my beauty pageant career was over by the age of six, so I think I started around four. And the first one, I don't even remember, Little Miss Eunice. Little Miss Arlington, I remember my knees shaking and thinking that everybody did it. I had no clue that this was something unique. I thought all kids did it. You just did it. And, um, and then I remember winning Miss Texas that the trophy was very heavy. And my arms were shaking, just trying to get down there with those flowers and the trophy. That's all I really remember. Well, let's skip a few years forward to uh, your days on General, General Hospital. Mm -hmm. Now, you were going to replace uh, Jeannie Francis. Mm -hmm. And you shared a dressing room with another actress who was uh, kind of made a name for herself. I did, I did. Now, tell me about that and what you talked about back then. What did we talk about then? Uh, uh, it was Demi Moore. And we played sisters on the soap. And what did we talk about? The long hours, probably. We were always on the phone. We were always on the phone. I just remember that. Demi was always on the phone. <laughs> but we talked about the woes and the, the happinesses of being on the soap, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Now let's uh, skip forward now to a Cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I know the script for this was evolving. But right. when you first read it and you saw, oh, I'm going to be playing a pilot, did uh, that give you a little bit of concern? Yes, it did, as a matter of fact. Uh, I, I didn't even go in on it at first. And uh, then Rennie Harlan wanted to meet with me and he said, well, we can make changes and go ahead and go in. So I did and I went in and read with Rennie. And then when I was offered the part, I got together with Rennie and Sly and, and they knew my concerns. And so the focus was taken off the helicopter piloting, if that's a word, I don't think it is, <laughs> and put on to the mountain climbing. Okay. Yes. So. Now, going to the mountains in Italy, now, I guess there's a little bit of amount of danger involved with that. How concerned was your family when they found out you were going to be going there? Well. I think my family wasn't that concerned. They were, they, they, my mother became concerned as, as I reported stories. But, you know, they, they hey, this, I went to New York a mile to 15, and, and I, they were used to, to my adventures. Venture-ness, is that a word? I keep doing that. I keep asking if it's a word. They were used to my adventuresome spirit. How's that? Okay. Now, uh, I grew up watching Sylvester Stallone in high school, and I think you're probably the same way. Saw his movies. Mm -hmm. Now, when All you, the football <laughs> bands would, at halftime played dun 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 Now, when you found out you were going to be co-starring with them, mm -hmm. now, um, how did you react? What did you think of that? I was very excited about it. Okay. Very excited about it. I mean, I, I met Sylvester Stallone for the first time about 10 years ago oh. for Staying Alive. Remember that? Yes. And uh, he had on a red turtleneck and was smoking a pipe and looked very appealing. <laughs> 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 and it took me, uh, what, 10 years, I guess, but it eventually happened. So I was very excited about it. Did you have a part in Staying Alive? No, I auditioned. Oh, yeah. I auditioned. Now, I, I couldn't help but notice that there wasn't uh, any love scenes in this film. Mm -hmm. Now, who felt more cheated, uh, you or Sylvester Stallone? Oh, me, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the focus had to be on the ex-adventure aspect. Of it. And I'm just glad that they took the time in the beginning to establish a relationship and a, a caring between the two. Now, I've always been interested in actors, uh, the routine they follow when they're on location. Uh, some actors bring along items from their, their home to make themselves feel more at home. Mm -hmm. Now, what routine do you follow when you're uh, away from home on location? Well, I usually bring my poodle, who's three pounds, but, uh, and 12 years old in June. But I didn't take her to Italy because I thought that might be a little intense for her, the heights and all of that. But I take music, um, and I take my Bible, and I take photos of my family. That's, that's, I have to have those three things. Yeah, and I've always been interested, this is a serious question, about mm -hmm. the highs and lows that actors have in their careers. Mm -hmm. And I read once in People magazine that at one point you weren't working and you wanted to uh, hawk a ring of yours. Mm -hmm. Would you consider that like one of the, the low points in your career? Yes, I would. I definitely yeah. would. Yeah, yeah it was a, a rough time. It, it, it was a low before the high. and It's kind of don't give up before the miracle sort of thing. As a matter of fact, it was very similar to, to the theme of the movie. I, I wanted to run from my life. I, I wanted to just run from New York and all my bills and go live in Athens, Texas and hide from the world. And, and uh, I had to go back and face my life. And I, I didn't, I actually rented the car, but instead of leaving Manhattan, I went back to Manhattan and faced my life. And, and I think that was rewarded in the same way that, that I, my character tells Gabe, Sly's character, that if you leave now, you'll be stuck on that ledge for the rest of your life. I mean, she knows he can't run from his problems either. And he's rewarded in the end. Ha! <laughs> but there are a lot, of, a lot to get there, but. 
and, and one final question is, uh, I've always been interested in the mementos that actors keep throughout the years. Now, what kind of things, specific items from specific films have you kept over the years? Ah, uh, la, 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 la. Well, from this movie, Cliffhanger, I kept the boots. I kept the, the jumpsuit and the boots, but those boots mean the world to me because those, those boots and I went through a lot <laughs> in, <laughs> in this movie. And the other, I don't know, I usually keep uh, an article of clothing. I don't usually. 